morning and welcome to Bangkok Post Morning Focus. I'm Pichai Chu Tsuk Sowat. And I am Don Sini Gritia Pimon Pon. Kun Don Sini, we've survived the weekend. I think yes. most of the inner city. But tension is beginning to rise, especially mm -hmm. with residents who have been underwater and are mm -hmm. being flooded. Their homes are being flooded by at least a meter, meter and a half. Mm -hmm. City Hall uh, yesterday urged uh, the Flood Relief Operations Command to provide protection for its officials who are trying to uh, build a flood barrier to protect uh, water from spreading into the city but are being threatened by violence from residents in certain areas. Now, Bangkok Governor Malratchabong Sukumpan Baripat yesterday stressed the importance of building and strengthening the flood prevention line in the area where mm -hmm. Pohonyo Tin Road meets Krong Rangsit near Talat Rangsit. Now, the governor said that the flood defense line in the area is strategically important as it helps to prevent the overflow from the Klong Rangsit from entering Bangkok's inner areas through Don Mung and Pahon Yotin Road. However, City Hall has been unsuccessful in trying to build the flood lines there because of the resistance from the local residents. Previously, there have been reports of angry residents uh, firing gunshots in the air to drive away BMA staff who were building the flood barriers there, too. Right. For example, over the weekend, about 1,000 residents living along Klong Sam and Klong Si in Klong Samwa district demanded that city officials open the Klong Samwa sluice gate by another 50 centimeters. Now, according to the protesters,